Cool. Canada in winter, you think of sports like skating, skiing, snowboarding. Come on, Peter, let's go surfing. And surfing? too cold to go surfing in Canada, even in the middle of winter. All year round, Jenny Stewart makes a swell living riding the waves here off Long Beach on Vancouver Island. Generally, people don't think of Canada as a surfing place. Girls in Canada surfing? Jenny is a champion surfer who has traveled the world as a member of the Canadian National Surf Team. Riding the crest of her surfing success, Jenny now owns and operates her own business. Surf Sister, Jenny speaking. Surf Sister is Canada's only all-female surfing school. There are not very many women that surf, so we wanted to try to even out the numbers in the water. So the idea with Surf Sister is not to exclude men, but to rather to include women. You know, Jenny, I'm just not thinking this is surfing weather. I mean, would you actually go out in there? This, in this? is great weather. <laughs> you got to be a Canadian to it's say good. that. It's <laughs> good. It's raining. The waves are good. The wind's blowing offshore. We've got about two meter surf out there today. Really? Gonna have so, a good time. So people would come and learn how to surf in this kind of weather? Oh yeah. We'll be wearing full wetsuits. Um, okay. Everything will be covered except for your face. Okay. Well, now that I'm being negative and talking about problems and stuff. I thought of two problems about this whole surfing thing. First, I, I've never surfed in my life before, and secondly, I'm, I'm, I've never been a woman either, and this is like <laughs> Surf Sisters, I guess, eh? So, am I gonna be okay trying to instruct? Well, you're gonna be the first guy teaching Surf Sister. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'll work on my feminine side. <laughs> That's good. But you gotta learn everything from scratch today because you're gonna be teaching in about an hour. Let's start with the equipment that you're using. Okay. How does your wetsuit feel? Uh, you know, really, really tight. All this brown stuff oh. is surf wax. So when you wax your board, you don't do it like skis where you wax the no, bottom and make a No, not at all. You don't put it on the bottom. Oh, you wax the top so you can stick. That's right. You'll be a total kook if you put your wax underneath your surfboard. Kook? Oh, this you is another thing I need kook. to know. You better fill me in on the vocabulary. <laughs> I know surf's up, and now yeah. I know kook. That's it. I'm going to be fairly kooky. You're going to have to know about waves and uh, what getting barreled means. That's, that's when you're in the tube, in the green room. In the that's, green room. That's the goal of every <laughs> every surf session is to get barreled. So that's I what, know what you're going to try to do. in the gazebo with the fire is. <laughs> so the white okay. water stuff that's rolling in, that's where yes. you'll start out. Okay. That's called the white water or the soup. The soup. We call it the soup. Okay, so I'll be in the soup. You'll be in the soup. Okay. <laughs> I could use some soup right here. <laughs> when you're standing up on your surfboard, yes. you have to know whether you're goofy foot or regular foot. Well, let's have a look. Which what does foot, goofy mean? Like which stupid? foot do you put in the front? Do you put your left foot in the front and surf going this way? If you're riding in, or do you put the right foot forward and start going this way? This We're having foot. never done it. And I'm going to push you. We'll see which foot falls forward. Okay. That's your front foot. So there you go. Prove it. I'm goofy, goofy foot. foot. This is the pop-up. Okay. So I've caught the wave. I'm up. And then I'm surfing. Go really fast, and then you stand up. There we go. That's it. Don't fall. You got to keep the balance. I'm in already. You don't want to be a kook and a stink bug and kind of surf a like kook that. And a stink bug. You don't want to do that. You bend at the knees, that. not at the waist. So. And how do you stop? Jump off. Oh, so no brakes, eh? No brakes. <laughs> okay. Jump off. You got to make sure when you're surfing in that you jump off before you hit the sand. Yeah. You don't want to ride up onto the sand. Because I'm guessing you'd be a kooky, stinky bug. <laughs> you'd break your fins off, too. <laughs> oh, 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 not that's good. really bad. <laughs> it's too cold. I'm not going. Time to head into the ocean and catch my first wave of panic. Paddle, paddle! Okay, here comes the wave. This is where I do that, that pop-up thing. Ah! Well, I definitely heard something pop.
Well, I'm still feeling a bit kooky. But by the end of the lesson, I have learned one new trick. That would be the, the disappearing hat trick. So I was born in Tofino. My dad's a surfer. I learned to surf right here. It took me probably about a year to stand up the first time. So you guys have a good teacher. I, yeah, have a teacher, have the proper equipment, and you're well on your way. With all female instructors, Jenny's company offers girls-only teen camps, weekend clinics for women, and mother-daughter specials. It's really important, I think, you get that connection between the mom and the daughter, and they get to know each other even better. Sometimes teenagers need that. But don't worry, men. Guys are allowed to take part in the daily lessons. Guys always want to see girls. It's taken Jenny a year to learn how to surf on her own. But thanks to Surf Sisters, most students can expect to ride the waves on their very first lesson. I'm just hoping no one gets hurt in my first class as an instructor. Although they might drown just sitting here on the beach. Everybody's a first time surfer. Me too. But what's really critical is you don't look like you're a first time surfer, so because then they call you a kook. Is that snow? This is crazy. You're going to be warmer as soon as you get in the water. It's the worst it gets, but we got to do it. I would surf every day if we had the good waves. You know, I would go out all day long. I'd surf till I can't even move my arms. They say a teacher's greatest reward is when he's surpassed by his student. Well, look at this. It's my first student. The very first try, they stood right up. Gee, you know, I, I wish I could teach myself. The weather finally clears, but who cares? It doesn't make any difference to surfers. In Canada, any weather is good surfing weather, eh? I love teaching surf lessons. I love seeing the look on people's faces when they get a good ride. That's the best thing. It's a totally rewarding job. Like, I could not imagine doing anything else. It's a living! Let's go shopping! Coming up, we're on Urban Safari where we bag some game. <laughs> it's really wild. I knew we would find the bedpan. 